tuning into your breath and finding a comfortable seat and a positioning with the legs that the hips, you're feeling the hips starting to open. Maybe you find a Sukhasana or an easy pose, or maybe you feel called to sit in a butterfly or a Badakonasana. Finding a positioning that opens the hip flexors, connects you into your legs and your seat. Invites you to sink into a grounded space of connection to the earth beneath you. Deep breaths filling you with light. And as your inhales pour into your body, Feel this breath, this prana, the energy of life and life force spiraling down your spine and down through your hips and legs into the earth beneath you, growing your roots down into the core of the earth. Grounding your body, mind, and spirit into the core of Mother Earth and into physical life itself. You may be here now in your morning time, the rising of the day. potent time to choose consciously, to choose consciously which energy we will bring with us for this day. And to tune in to the energies of stability and balance being rooted and grounded, feeling safe and abundant, giving ourselves the permission to fully embody our physical being and to walk the day of each life, uh, the life of each day, I don't know, <laughs> with this rooted energy. <laughs> to feel from each breath, you bring energy down through your body into your roots, into the earth, releasing what is no longer serving you and inviting nourishment to rise back up through your body, just like a tree drinks the water from the earth through its roots. Taking some time to breathe and feel and visualize your roots burrowing down from beneath you into the floor and into all the layers of constructed material beneath you until they find their way into the natural earth below, grounding into the soil and the mycelial networks. Connecting to the energies of the blood and the waters the energies of the earth beneath us and all of the 
layers of rock and soil and crystal, the mineral kingdom. These energies of created matter of nature expressing herself. And from this place of connection through the roots, you are growing in your mind's eye. Feel your strength rising up through you and affirm I am grounded. I am grounded. I am grounded. I am safe. I am safe. Bring your hands to your hips. Breathing into your root chakra. And feeling this energy of grounded, balanced abundance. giving you the safety to feel inspired and creative. And to connect to this energy center, colors of red and the browns of the earth and roots, the reds of the blood and the lava, We'll sing the sound of Lam for one minute, grounding the energies of the root chakra through sound down into the earth and back up through the body with the seed sound Lam, bringing that depth of the frequency into the lower body. So really filling the belly with your breath and letting your full deep voice as deep as you can find it Bring the sound long. Deep inhale. Big sigh. Inhale to long.
big sigh. And if you're in butterfly, you can bring your feet back into an easy seat or easy pose, one ankle in front of the other. Bring the hands into your heart center. Just bow the head, connecting to the earth below. Bring this energy of grounded, stable practice throughout your day today and throughout the rest of our practice together this morning. Placing the hands down on your knees with your next exhale and starting some Sufi grinds, circulating the hips, and moving the energy from the lower body up in spirals through the spinal column, through Shashumna. And starting to feel your breath really moving into all the points of tension. We're keeping long, deep, slow breaths. I'm listening to the points of tension in the body, maybe switching directions or swinging both sides of the body instead of constant circles. And maybe pausing in one direction or another with the head or the neck or the shoulders or the side waist, taking a moment to open up whatever it is that you might have stuck or tense or dense in the body. Beginning from that place of groundedness in who we are, being honest in that balance of the body with what we really need at this time. When you feel ready, coming into stillness again with a straight spine, taking a couple of breaths to just feel the tension in the body start to melt away as everything becomes grounded and balanced, stable, strong, and abundant. your way onto your hands and knees, taking a couple of breaths to get there. Coming into a tabletop position. And starting with a few standard cat cows, inhaling the heart open, gaze towards the ceiling, exhaling back of the heart towards the ceiling, tucking the tailbone under, inhaling, opening the chest, flexing the spine, sending the hips up, exhaling, tucking tailbone under, spine up behind you, fingers are spread beneath the shoulders, toes are tucked, feel from the hands and the knees, the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers, the opportunity to become grounded and rooted on all fours. Tuning in and feeling into that primal animal aspect of the root chakra. 
and allowing that energy to flow from you into the earth, feeling the animal energy within the all fours stance and letting that primal energy start to guide your movements. So maybe you start to feel inspired to become a bit more fluid in your movements. start to move a bit side to side, maybe playing with your weight distribution, really pressing into the palms, pressing into the toes, into the knees, feeling yourself digging in, pressing in, sinking into Mother Earth. Letting your breath roll through you as you move into your body. Bring your big toes together. Send the knees wide to the edges of your mat. And start to make some circles through the sides of the body and through the hips. So you're kind of coming forward in an open hip position and then back and down, maybe moving side to side. Feel into the quadriceps, the psoas muscles, hip flexors. Feel into the tops of the feet and the lower back. Let everything sink down through the hips into the earth. Every exhale releases tensions. Every inhale brings in prana. And when you feel Ready, you can sink down to the floor. Stretching the arms forward, coming into a wide-legged child's pose. Take three breaths here. And then pressing into the fingertips Walk your hands over to your right side and sink in over into the right side, stretching the left side body. And we'll take five breaths here. your fingertips. As you exhale, start to walk yourself over to the opposite side, sinking in to the side waist, breathing here into the hips and into the side body.
deep inhale. Big sigh. Inhale into your fingertips. And walk your hands back into center. Starting to walk yourself up onto your knees, bringing the knees together. Taking a moment here in Thunderbolt Pose, straight spine, shoulders away from the ears, basically kneeling. Breathing into the knees and the feet, tops of the feet. And feel your seat bones connected to your heels. Next inhale, place the hands back in front underneath the shoulders, coming it back into your tabletop position, tucking your toes. Inhale, the heart open. Exhale, pressing into the feet, sending the hips up and back behind you, sinking the chest down towards the thighs, looking between the toes, fingers spread, breathing into downward facing dog and start to pedal your feet, pedal your legs, maybe bending deeply into the knees or perhaps taking a wide legged downward facing dog, bending the knees and Moving side to side through the hips. Moving your breath through all the points of tension in the body. Through the whole length of your body. time here in your downward dog just giving yourself the space to feel where your body is at in your practice today and from here inhaling your right leg up behind you Exhale, bring that right foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down for a low lunge. Inhale, rising up, bringing the arms to the sides of the ears, palms facing each other, reaching up to the sky. Breathe into your legs, feel the feet on the earth. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold over that front leg. Send your seat back to meet your left heel. Folding into a Ardha Hanumanasana, half split, half Hanuman. Couple of breaths here. Feeling the legs, feeling the feet. Feeling the lower back, lumbar and sacrum. Deep inhale. Exhale, coming forward, chest over the thigh. Inhale, heart open, coming back forward. And stretching that back leg out strong and long. Step back, plank pose. Deep inhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, cobra pose. 
And as you exhale, lowering back down onto the chest, tucking the toes, pushing hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down, finding your lunge on the opposite side. Inhale the torso and chest up, arms up. Breathe in here. Planting the hands on either side of that front foot, sending your seat back to meet the right heel, toe, left toes pointing towards the sky, forehead coming towards that left knee. forward, hard open, stretch out that back leg, step back, plank pose, inhale here, exhale, chaturanga down, inhale, your back bend, exhale, up and back down, we're facing dog. And spend some time in your downward dog. Getting into the feet, the legs, the hips. I invite you to inhale, sending the hips up really high, really stretching the backs of the legs. And as you exhale, bend the knees and float the knees above your mat for a breath. <sighs> inhale, lengthen the legs, straightening the backs of the legs. As you exhale, Bend the knees, float the knees above your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Big sigh. Start to walk your feet towards your hands. Making your way into a forward fold. Find a generous bend in your knees for this Uttanasana. So gluing your torso to your thighs bending the knees and folding inward. Next inhale, straighten the legs out, halfway lift, hands on shins. Exhale, folding back in. Wiggle your feet out to the wide edges of your mat, fingertips down beneath the chest, and then make your way into a malasana or squat pose. So bending the knees, sending the seat down towards the mat, and the elbows come in to meet the knees, palms in prayer or interlaced, breathing here. Feel free to sway a bit side to side into the hip flexor. Or feel free to sink completely into stillness. Wherever 
wherever you want to be with this malasana, this squat pose. Let your breath flow through your hips, through your feet, through the root chakra, circulating that red energy, brown energy, spiraling roots. slow breaths filling the diaphragm that diaphragm expanding into the psoas into the hip flexors all emotional frustration or tension starts to dissolve out of the hip flexors breath next inhale and with a big sigh release the hands fingertips down beneath the chest and pressing into the fingertips send the hips up wide legged standing forward fold you might edge the feet out a little bit farther feel free to turn on your mat if you need to for the grip or whatever if it makes you feel comfortable and breathe into the backs of the legs into the sacrum and just feel the difference in the hip flexors maybe even swaying to one side and another through the hips. Then inhaling into a halfway lift straight spine. Exhale, walk yourself over the right leg, fold over that right leg. Breathe. center great spine tucking in the belly button as you flow over to the other side and then find your fold folding over that left leg Coming into center, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, walk your hands between the legs, maybe even behind the body or behind the heels. And breathe here if you have the balance. inhale big breath out hands plant beneath the shoulders inhale halfway lift exhale fold pointing your toes out to face opposite directions and then sinking the seat down lifting the torso and chest up elbows come in line with the shoulders coming up into a goddess pose. Inhale. 
inhale, straightening out the legs, palms come together above head. Exhale, sinking back down into your goddess. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, rooting down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, rooting down. Two more. Inhaling up. Exhaling, rooting down. One more, inhale. Exhale, sinking into the goddess. Sink down as low as you can. Breathe here, five breaths. Inhale, rise up. Palms come together above head. Exhale, pointing the toes forward, feet parallel to each other, reaching forward, straight spine, folding in. Releasing in again to a wide-legged standing forward fold. beneath the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the feet back into plank pose. Breathing in your plank, inhale, big sigh. Feel the strength in your body. Couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga down to the ground. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, standard child's pose, knees together, forehead to the mat. Arms at your sides. As you breathe, let your breath really flow into the back body from the lumbar spine all the way to the cervical spine. Feeling the back of the body rise and fall. yourself. You are safe. You are abundant. You are balanced. And you are supported by Mother Earth in all endeavors of this material realm. You are supported by Mother Earth. All of us children of the earth, gestating in the womb of creation, forming life forms much greater than we can imagine from the human experience. Take a deep inhale. Big sigh. With your next inhale, you can bring your arms out in front of you. Exhale and plant into your fingertips. And start to leverage yourself up. Inhale. 
once you make your way up again into a thunderbolt pose we'll just take about 30 seconds of some spinal flexes inhaling opening the heart exhaling sending the back of the heart behind just moving the energy up from the root chakra through the sacrum and all the way up through shishumna out through sahasrara connecting the lower body to the upper body and awakening the shakti essence or the kundalini As you exhale, you can interlace the fingers, hands behind you, behind the sacrum, and then let the hands come down and lean on the hands like they're a little kickstand for your heart, lifting the heart up to the sky, just leaning back onto the fingers interlaced, breathing into your heart center, feeling the energy of the heart flow down through the legs and the knees and also down through the arms through the fingertips and knuckles into the earth deep inhale Exhale, keeping the hands together, fingers interlaced, coming up, lifting your seat slightly, tucking your toes behind you, bowing your forehead to the earth, arms stay where they are. Breathing here. Tucking your belly button into your spine, lifting yourself back up with the core, and sitting back down onto the heels. You can release the fingertips and just sitting back down onto the heels. Taking a couple of breaths here before we move the legs. taking a deep inhale and as you exhale sending your legs out in front of you pulling the flesh of your seat out from underneath you and coming into a staff pose or dandasana toes pointing towards the third eye belly button tucked in shoulders rolled back and down and you can have your hands on either side of the hips, on the thighs, or either side of the thighs. Breathing here in Dandasana, feeling the power of the legs and the strength of the legs, really pressing down through the thighs, grounding the energy down. Find a deep inhale, 
big breath out. Let the legs start to relax. Shake the legs out a moment. And then bring the soles of the feet together, basically where the legs are. So keeping the legs mostly extended, but bringing the soles of the feet together. And you'll feel that start to come along the quadriceps, that stretch. And you can breathe into first a straight spine, and then start to fold forward to however far your body lets you go. of more breaths here. And with your next breath, just start to walk the hands back, coming back up with a straight spine. And then bring the soles of the feet still together, but with the heels as close as you can to the pelvic floor. So full external hip rotation here, perhaps uh, even cushioning underneath the knees if you need to, or sitting on a cushion as well can help to lift the hips up so you get a bit more space for the knees to open. And with your next breath, Deep inhale and fold forward with your exhale, sinking in to this Konasana. And we'll be here for some time, maybe about two minutes, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Two minutes here. <laughs>
Taking five more deep cleansing, releasing breaths here. As Mother Earth supports you, you ground yourself into your purpose for this day and this week. Slowly starting to make your way out of your fold. <sighs> Walking yourself back up into a straight spine. And extend your legs out wide and long. Full length extension to your own body's contentment today. And just walk your hands forward however far you can go. Maybe you stay with outstretched arms. Maybe you can make it down onto your elbows. Whatever works for you, just listen to your own being and really feel into your root chakra here now. Muladhara, that seed sound of love, that red spinning fiery lava energy of gravity. inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale here, exhale slowly starting to walk yourself up and slowly bringing your feet in. Bringing the knees together in towards the chest can roll yourself down and back onto your spine, rolling a little bit back and forth. And then sinking into your Shavasana, allowing yourself to relax into the earth, grounding your whole being now into the earth and envisioning your roots growing not only from your seat and legs and feet, but from every part of your body 
touching the surface beneath you, reminding you that you are supported by the earth. Letting every part of your body soften and every cell be reminded of its abundant nature. to coil back up into your body, keeping one strong root tethered and tied deep down into the core of the earth, and allowing the rest of your physical being to gather back together into the earth plane, letting your energy body sink back into the physical body. And before you decide to sit up, 
maybe wiggling your fingers and toes and just familiarizing with the extensions of your being. And just taking an extra moment to really visualize your purpose, your reason for being. Why am I here now? Envision the embodiment, the carrying forward, the living through, following through of this purpose. considering maybe even just a couple of simple intentions or energy forms that you wish to carry with you or that you will into your day and your week. And as you're ready, you can rise up into embodiment stable and strong namaste that not